Mom, it's that time again. We're going to roll out the red carpet for the top 10 patterns for 2022. Do you know what they are? Keep watching. Hi, it's Fran Morgan. And Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. And today we have the top 10 patterns of 2022. Do you think you know which one is gonna be number one? Why don't you write your favorite pattern in the comments and let us know? Yeah, I'd love to hear. It's We've got so many great patterns, it's hard to know exactly what's going on. So let's jump in and get started. What All is... All right, the, the envelope, number please. 10. Fran is going to do number 10. So number 10 is... <gasps> Urban, Urban Chic. chic. Wow, that's its first time in the top 10. <laughs> it is. I think it's great. So let's go check out that quilt. All right. <laughs> so here is Urban Chic, and this is a darling quilt. And I love it because it's got all these little movements here on these blocks, the way they step across the front of the quilt. Great focus, and I love the focus on the border. Let's check out the fabric for this one. So this is so sweet. I just love it. It's so much fun. So we have these really charming roses for Urban Chic here. And this print is going to go in the middle here, in this perfect scale, and then on our border here. So and then our number two is the lovely pink, which picks up the pinks and the roses perfectly. And of course, that'll go everywhere you see pink on the quilt here. And then our number three is a nice pop of green, which picks up the green in our roses. And it will be everywhere you see the green here. I think that's so neat. And when I designed this pattern, I remember thinking, it is so much fun making two different blocks, putting it together and look like a whole different it, way to go. So would you like to block really out that and show them Yeah, the let's blocks? show them that. All right. So, and it's really, I think it's always amazing um, how when you design a quilt, Mom, you make it so easy. So he, this is our first block and basically we'll do a strip piece mm -hmm. and we have our focus fabric and our number one here. Three different fabrics cut our unit and we're going to do another strip piece and it will be right there with the two fabrics and then we add that to both sides of our first. I just think it's a fun little block. But yeah. look what happens when you do the second block. Now the second block this is actually a little surprising. It is. Isn't it funny how whenever you look at it, it's just a simple four patch and it's so easy, but whenever you put it all together, it's just got so much bang and totally understandable why it's in our top 10. Now we actually have an image for you on the screen of this one so that you can see how beautifully those colors play off of each other. We've got our flowers and our florals in the number one position, our two and three, and it just turned out great. It did, it deserves to be in the top 10. Yes, absolutely. So our kit information on this one, it's called Sweet Wishes. And the number is 8022478. It is our urban chic pattern from the book Fast and Fun. Well, you know, you could hand me this envelope, but I'm closer and I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> we get number very nine. <laughs> oh, Happy Go Lucky. I look yeah. at that. Happy Go Lucky is an awesome it pattern is. and it's a fast one. So yes. let me show you the quilt. And this is Happy Go Lucky, and it has been such a popular pattern this year. Super simple with that wide strip, and then you do the pinwheel in the, the second row, and it just turns out so fun, and it does make me happy, happy, happy. It does. I, th I think <laughs> Happy Go Lucky is definitely one of my go-tos. I pull it up all the time to put fabric in because it displays the fabric so well, and it's got such spunk. Yeah, it does, <laughs> and, and you know, Whenever we're designing the patterns, this may be a little surprising to you, but we use every bit of the fabric that we can yes. because we know what it's like to have a huge stash. Mm -hmm. And so we want to use all of that fabric. So with three one yard cuts of fabric, we're going to utilize that fabric the best that we can and make it as simple for you as possible. And we use the three fabrics like this one, which is adorable. We yes. are definitely kitty people oh, around yes. here and I love this kitten fabric. And we're going to show that off in this big wide strip here. Now, one of the reasons I like to do row quilts like this is because I kept hearing uh, our customer friends say, that is so cute, I don't want to cut it up. So I gave them the width of the fabric. <laughs> so that's our number one. Our number two and three fabrics, you want to compare those two 
and you put the lightest in the number two position. That's going to be your background colors here. And then the number three fabric is the pink. That's going to be your accent colors and the parts that just kind of pop off and give you the design of the quilt. Absolutely, so this one darling. is Happy Go Lucky, number nine, and it is Garden Kittens, 8022620. Okay, so number eight. All right, go for it, friend. Ba -da 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 -da. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> It's a secret. It's a secret. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Stepping stones. You know, the first two, I think, were their first time to be in the top ten. Oh, really? I think so. If my wow. memory serves me right. But I believe Stepping Stones has been around a lot. I know it's been pinned a lot of times yes. on well, Pinterest. It is a fantastic quilt. Let's check it out. So here is our stepping stones done in this beautiful floral. Now, I'm not sure we have this kit anymore, but we've got some great florals for you and some great fabric. So stepping stone probably is in our top 10 basically because it's got our nice uh, perfected formula that we love to do. This nice quilt block here to show off a fo focus fabric and then the little movement across the front of the quilt on our stepping stones. So let's check out the fabric. Now, this is one that really needs that high contrast for the stepping stones to pop out. Yes, absolutely. And what's very interesting about this is we have a kit here that's a little monochromatic, but still has contrast. Mm -hmm, and I does. love that. And this is really great, too, because this is a really sweet fabric that has all of these words on it. This is you are cherished over and over mm -hmm. and over again. And as we all know, quilts are such a great thing to give as gifts or for people that are needing a little extra encouragement and to wrap around you and be able to see those words is really wonderful. It is. So our number one fabric here is gonna go everywhere you see the floral. And then we have our number two, and this is gonna be very peaceful. I really like it. Yes. We have our green background. It's gonna go everywhere you see the beige here. And then our number three for that contrast. And that's our stepping stones Gorgeous. and our border. Uh, we'll go there and I think it will really, really be a comforting quilt. I really, really like it. Okay, our kit information on this one is 8022619. It is called Cherished. And the pattern is Stepping Stones from the Pretty Darn Quick Book. You know, number seven has always been my lucky number. Mm. So let's see what this one is. <laughs> Well, you weren't going to let me see last time. Uh, oh, oh, nine plus one. Yes. A good, a good, good, good basic quilt. Yes, good go to. And you'll want to check that one out. Let's look at the quilt. This one is the nine plus one. And is it not sweet in this fabric? We've got some other fabric to show you as well. And this particular one has the square with the basic nine patch. And it, it just goes together so fast, it will be one you go to over and over. And apparently, we in number... Uh, seven in the, the lineup, yeah. people go to it over and over. Yeah. Now, once at a show, someone said to me, why do I need a pattern for a nine patch? That's one of the first, you know, blocks that you make. You know, one of the main mm -hmm. reasons is the patterns tell you exactly how to cut it so you don't have to wonder, should the purple yes. go here or the pink go there? Right. You just are able to do the pattern and you get to do what's fun, which is pick out fabric and put it together and sew it and not have to do all the math. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Number one fabric with this, uh, we were, um, we've were we been talking about our cats a lot. Yeah. We just do that. <laughs> but who does that remind you of? Okay, so if Ollie had his caricature done, you know, Ollie's my kitty, that is what it would look like. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. He's pretty sure he's a tiger, huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> this is going to go in our number one spot here. And then look at these adorable paw prints. Oh. And the paw prints uh, look kind of muddy. No. Oh, no. <laughs> so the, the Which paw is prints. Typical. Is the, yeah. <laughs> compared to the number three, you've got your dark and your light. And that's going to make up the contrast you need for the nine patch Perfect. over here. Perfect. Just darling. I like yeah, this. Yeah. Now, one. I want to ask. Has your favorite pattern fallen in the top 10 yet? If not, mm -hmm. be sure to comment down there. What is your favorite pattern and which one is your go-to that you like to uh, have in your top 10 lineup? Absolutely. All right, this one is called Paul Power 8022618. It is the nine plus one pattern from the book Quilts for Kids. So cute, okay. We're at number six. 
All right. Oh, that's cool. Yay, pinwheel plus one. These are great patterns. These they are, are great go -tos. You know, I should have checked what the top 10 were last year because I can't remember whether this one was in, in the top 10 oh, or not. Oh, I don't either. I'm, I need to yeah. go back and look. You guys want to go, go check out, too. We're going to go back and check out that, that video from last year because it's still up there on YouTube and it's fun to see, well, what was showing as the number one last yeah. year yeah. and what's this year? Okay, let's go check out All Pinwheel right. Plus One. So this is such a sweet quilt. I just love it. I love this block here. Once again, a nice big block with fun pinwheels to give us some movement. Just a happy, happy, spunky quilt. Let's check out the fabric. Peppermints always make me think of this cool, refreshing, crisp day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. This is no different and I just love it. So this is just so much fun. This is gonna, our peppermints is our focus. It'll go in our number one block here. And then our number two is a nice white. And I don't know if you can see this. Sometimes it doesn't always pick up well on camera, but this actually has just a little picture of an ornament on it, which is really fun. Oh, cool. And that'll be our number two fabric here in our pinwheels and on our border. And then this fun red that just really pops. I love it. Mm -hmm. Will be our pinwheel, our border, and just gives us lots of uh, crisp, contrast which i just love well that's fun that's very fun. very fun and i think the pinwheels make me think of peppermints too oh <laughs> oh <laughs> yes of a it does in. you know that's so funny because depending on the fabric uh -huh. okay if we're using christmas fabric it makes me think of peppermints uh -huh. but if we're using fun bright colors it makes me think of the pinwheels that we used to have on our bicycle handles and oh, that we would yeah. run down the you know like <laughs> So I think it's kind of fun. It can really change the look depending on what colors and fabrics that we use. I think yep. that's kind of fun. Absolutely. Okay, so this is called Candyland, the kit. And it's 8022617. And it is Pinwheel Plus One from our Quick and Easy book. All right. Number All right. five. Yep. Okay, number five. Let's see what we have. Oh, I believe it's a snap has been... Uh, in the number, the top yes. 10 before. Yes. And it is a beautiful quilt and just a little bit of a surprise in that particular pattern. So let's look at this and I'll show you what it is. So it looks like cascading blocks and it is, it actually utilizes several different blocks that you put together to make this. And it has been in the number one spot, I mean, in the top 10, I don't remember which spot, but let's put that up on the table and look at this gorgeous fabric that we've done. You do have a few of the blocks that are um, all one piece, so mm -hmm. you're just gonna cut squares. Mm -hmm. And then you have the old standby, you've got the four patch here. Yeah. So you can look at this right here, we've got a four patch. So there's a four patch. You see? And that corner of this block See how we put that together so that it that makes the corner. so clever. And it looks like it's tucked behind yeah. the quilt. And then you have uh, one more block over here. We're going to put this right down here. And you can see this as well. So that one has uh, that block again that's going to be part mm -hmm. of this now, corner right here. It's not exactly a four patch, basically. So we have this as a strip piece and then this is a full piece. Right, oh. right. Oh, so three, mm -hmm. that's very cool. Okay. Yes. Oh, it's fun when you start putting this together. I always say it's a little bit like putting a puzzle together, <laughs> but we give you the cheat sheet. You see exactly where all those blocks <laughs> like it's go. It's the cliff notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is our number one fabric. It's going to go in the largest block. Just we call it the focus fabric because we want you to be able to focus on it when mm -hmm. you're looking at that quilt. And then our good old trusty background. We have yes. to have the background so that you can see that beautiful focus yep. fabric. And the number three becomes your uh, accent colors and your border. And I mean, it it's would just, pop. wouldn't be quite the same oh, without that, that pop. Just Isn't gorgeous. that gorgeous? Yes. Love oh. it. So this is going to be a beautiful quilt made up in this fabric. It's called Jungle Masterpiece. Oh. 8022616. It's a snap is the uh, number five. Four. Uh, five, yes. yeah. You get to do number four. <laughs> we get to do number four. Okay, number four. So, <gasps> that one's one of your favorites. Yes, Town Square. Yes. Yes, it is one of my favorites. This mm -hmm. is a go-to for me. I use it a lot. Mm -hmm. So let's check it out. 
So here is our town square, and you can see here the nice big block. And I like this one because we are using both colors to border our focus. So if your focus has lots of multi-colors, different colors like this one does, this one's great for that. Let's check out the fabric that we have this time. Oh, I love this fabric. Love, love, love this fabric. <laughs> and it's, and you know, this has so much movement and bright, cheerful mm. colors. It's gonna be perfect in our big block here. And there's the butterfly. There's the butterfly. It is, so, oh, there's another one. There's a mm -hmm. pink one right here. So this is cool. So you know what I was saying whenever I was standing by the quilt, how you can, the two colors border your focus on this quilt. And I like that because you've got mm -hmm. something like this that has all these beautiful colors. And then you can use your number two fabric that pulls out the pink. Mm -hmm. And that will be everywhere the green is. And then our turquoise Ooh. also pulls that out and it'll be everywhere the purple is. And what that does is it gives you that richness. It just pulls all those out and it's great, but it really frames it really well. So, and what I love about this, so exciting, I love it when we can do this. We have an image on the screen for you. So you can see exactly what I'm talking about and how that pink and that blue really is unified with that focus fabric and how it frames it so nicely yes. and really just those colors are yummy together. Just love them. So our kit information on this one, it is called Retro Garden, and the number is 8022492, and it's the Town Square pattern from our Easy Peasy book. I can hardly wait. We're getting really close really to number close. one. Have you guessed what it is yet? It's top three. We are at the okay, top three. Okay, number three. <laughs> Ta-da! So quick. And you know, mm -hmm. so quick. It was like my third pattern that I ever oh, designed. Wow. And it was one of them that I designed because people kept saying, I don't want to cut the fabric up. So I was trying to get the biggest block possible. And it has been in the, I think it's been in the top 10 since its inception. Yeah. Yeah. People wow. love it because it has the big block and they can really yes. show off their fabric. And it's one of my favorites. And if you want to see some of my other favorites, we've done a video before with my top six favorite oh. patterns. I have this one That's hanging great. in my office. Check so out. let's go over here and look at the quilt. So this one is called So Quick, and here's that big block that I was talking about, and then it has a four patch here. And I think this looks good in just about any fabric that we ever, ever put it in. And I think it's a great one for beginners. It's a great one for experienced people who just need a quilt in a hurry. So let's put that up on the table. And this is gorgeous this fabric. Is gorgeous fabric. And I love the way we can see it in the quilt here and how mm -hmm. gorgeous it makes up. You know, it's very traditional with kind of a little bit of a modern twist. Mm -hmm. I like the I way that with that. So the focus fabric is gorgeous. So you can see how it really shows off that focus fabric and that big block. And then we have our number two fabric. Love this. And it goes here and here. And we also put a little border in there oh, with the number two fabric. Yeah. And of course, that grunge just sets it off <laughs> with this black grunge that we've put here. Gorgeous quilt. I know this would look lovely on anyone's yes, sofa. Yes, it is really, really pretty. Now this one is called Everlasting Bouquet, eight zero two two five one one. So quick is the pattern, and it's from the book Quilt Favorites. All right, so we are down to number two. Okay, All have right. you guessed what the number one is yet? Be sure to do that in the comments. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, number two, Old Glory. Now this definitely, yes, mm -hmm. it is such a great design. You are such a good designer. Well, thank you, <laughs> and you too. Well, thank you. <laughs> so let's go check out Old Glory. So this is such a fun pattern because we have our stars all down the side here, which is a little unique for a three yard quilt. So I really like that. And then we have this really fast strip piecing here to make the stripes on our old glory. So let's check out the fabric that we have for you. Oh, wow, this is fun. Now this is a celebration right on your quilt, isn't it? Is. it? Oh, this is great. So, and it looks like, it does, it looks like fireworks. Yeah. So, the red is our number one. Now, the red is gonna go in the center of our stars as well as on our stripes mm -hmm. here. And I like this red because it almost, it looks antiqued maybe. 
So mm -hmm. it kind of, it's, it's got a little bit of brown in the red, so it looks a little bit more vintage, even mm -hmm. though it's not a vintage print. I don't Right. No, <laughs> so, nowhere near vintage no. necessarily. <laughs> but I really like it because it kind of has that earthy feel and that mm -hmm. kind of old glory, what you would think of as being um, kind of that worn, earthy. Mm -hmm. So I like it. So here's our number two. Very fun. Nice beige background. That'll be our stripes and then the points here on our stars. And that just is going to contrast great. That's going to be great. It is. And then our blue, same print, is the background here and on our borders. So I think this is going to look gorgeous in this pattern. Absolutely I gorgeous. Agree. So the kit number is 8022280, and it's called Firework Show, and it is our Old Glory pattern. So tell me, should we take a coffee break now? Mm. Mm. Coffee Maybe not. Sounds good, <laughs> but I'm pretty anxious. I'd right. like to know what number one is. <laughs> okay, number one. Oh, I got chill bumps. Freedom. Yes. <laughs> love it. Love, love it, it. Love, love it. it. Love it. Love it. Yes. And whenever I designed Freedom, I tell you, I felt really accomplished. <laughs> You know, it, we always have these fun times when we, we design, but every once in a while you, you get this idea and you want to design something and then trying to figure it out is another thing. It's, it's such a stylized original flag, so to yeah. speak, yep. with the, the circle, circles of the stars. And there's a reason why this is number one, because it is very loved and quite original. Let's look at the fabric. We've got our number one fabric. We're going to put our red right here in the stars and in the stripes. The number two fabric will be going in the stripes and it'll be the background so that your stars will pop forward. Yep. And the number three is your dark blue. It'll be points of your star and also in the Perfect, borders. love it. Isn't and I fun? love this fabric too. It just is perfect for this. Pattern. It is. I'll have to say I've, I've grown quite fond of this for many of my quilts. So this is Starbound 8021872. And the pattern is Freedom, and it is the number one pattern for 2022. I want to know, did you guess which one was the number one pattern? Yeah, were you surprised? I was surprised at a few of them. I was too. So <laughs> now we have something really great for all of you. We have pulled together a special package of our top 10 patterns for 2022. So just go online and check that out. It is all pulled together for you. So that's a great way to get them all. Absolutely. It's Donna Robertson. And Fran Morgan. Thanks for joining us.